everybody. We're the Babes of Bourbon. I am Megan Rudder. And I am Eric Rudder. Tonight we are going to be doing a delicious lineup of Huber's Starlight Bourbon, Bourbon. and Whiskey. Yes. Um, we have three different ones. Um, the first one is a store pick from Antioch, Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, the second one um, and this is his normal bourbon, not finishing anything. Yeah. The second one is from Amans mm -hmm. in Wind Lake. It is finished in um, Scotch whiskey barrels. Mm -hmm. And then this third one is the Starlight Doubled Oak Rye. Um, mm -hmm. So, do you know anything about Starlight Distillery? Do I know anything about <laughs> Starlight Distillery? Well. Huber Starlight Distillery is in Starlight, <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> it's run by the Hubers. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, they're the craft distillery. Um, and winery, actually. I think yeah. they started as a winery. Cori I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then yeah. they started their whiskey business. Mm -hmm. um, they are craft, um, mm -hmm. but we really enjoy most of their products, so we're going to mm -hmm. sample three here tonight and see what we think about these three. And it's pretty crazy too because the Starlight is generally only aged about four years, mm -hmm. and in my opinion, it tastes like a bourbon or a rye that's been aged anywhere from six to ten. Mm -hmm. Like it has some great flavors, it's pretty delicious. Um, should, oh, I'm so sad, guys. We are finishing this one! <laughs> Bottle kill! Yeah. So let's start with the um, Antioch store pick, just their Indiana Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottle. Yes, and I believe this one is like 110... 113? 113 proof. I just looked at it. Aged four years. So. Mm -hmm. It just has such an aromatic nose. Mm -hmm. mm. Now what am I getting off of it is the question. This will be a little interesting for me just with time of year because I do have allergies. Mm -hmm. um, but what I like about this is, even though I'm slightly stuffy, I'm still getting a lot of flavors. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting like that traditional oak caramel. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a toffee nut too. Yeah. I was just going to say maybe almond or toffee mm. nut sounds Yeah. more down that. To me, but, this feels very like warm, very mm -hmm. rich, kind of like if you're eating pecan pie mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, if you guys have ever had the candy toffee before, it, it like <laughs> <laughs> that may just be my family, but it's like a candy that has like a soft, it's like a half circle and it has a soft caramel shell and then in the middle it has, I don't even know, some like gooey nougat and hazelnut and then it has like a dollop of dark chocolate on top. Mm -hmm. And this smells like when you bite into that. It smells really good. I really yeah. like this nose. Me too. I did not sip it. Oh yeah. I oh, get... I'm sorry folks. Can you... <laughs> I just looked over at Eric and his is twice the size of mine. It's fine. It's well, fine. it was at the end of the bottle and I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave any of it. I haven't had that one in a while. No. Um, take another sip. Yeah. I again am getting a lot of caramel there, Driz like drizzled caramel oak. I would say on the palate, for me personally, it's a little more peanutty than other nuts. Mm. I'm getting some peanut in there. It definitely has the vanilla, the caramel. Mm -hmm. I don't get quite as much peanut, but I think I compare almost everything to Jim Beam products when we talk about peanut. Mm -hmm. So that may be my own stereotype because those are like, Bone this is peanut. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me take another sip of that. To me, my first impression is, like Eric said, vanilla, caramel. I, I hope I don't say this too much, but this is like the traditional bourbon to me mm -hmm. like it just is like there's no mistaking it this has every traditional flavor of bourbon that you would imagine just strong and solid i will say there's a little bit of kentucky heat that spreads with this one yeah. um but it has a high proof i'd say in the finish there is definitely that 
um, a little bit of ethanol burn right here in the back of yeah. my throat. Um, with all the flavor that's coming through with that finish, I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. um, that is maybe, if anywhere, where that younger bourbon is coming through, mm -hmm. still on the finish, you can still have that sort of that yeah. ethanol burn there. It is only four years, but the amount of flavor that's coming through on this mm -hmm. is I'm very impressed that it's shocking. only four years. <laughs> I agree. Now, I don't get quite as much of a peanutty taste on the next mm -hmm. few sips. Even when I was thinking about it, I do get something nutty, but I get more of a subtle soft flavor, more like a walnut or a pecan, mm -hmm. where it's not quite as um, distinct. Mm -hmm. But I, I see where you're coming from with that. It's just slightly different than the notes. That's why I said mm -hmm. it's verging yeah. towards peanut. But I agree. Completely agree. It's not like... Um, Jim Bean where it's like, oh. In your that's face. That's peanut. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Should we grade or taste all of them? I think we should go ahead and just grade because I don't think, I mean, I like Starlight products a lot. Mm -hmm. When I like to do it at the end is when I think I have a bias. Mm -hmm. Like for Starlight, I don't really have a bias. I like it. I like all these bottles. I don't really have a problem with any of them. So nose. Um, I love the nose on this. Me too. I am going to get a, a, a 1.5 out of 2. You're going... I, I saw what you wrote down. <laughs> Guys, it may be because I'm a sucker for like <laughs> traditional bourbon, but I'm giving the nose a 2 out of 2. I find it very pleasant. It's not overly aromatic. It's not throwing a lot at me where I'm mm -hmm. like, what am I trying to figure out? It's like, no, this is what bourbon smells like. And I think for me, <laughs> part of my bias comes from the fact that we drank Woodford Double Dope, like, all the time when we were mm -hmm. first drinking bourbon. So that's, like, a very warm, fuzzy, familiar flavor to me. And it has that similar, not similar taste necessarily, not even similar nose, but similar feeling. Mm -hmm. The inside <laughs> feelings. Yes. Okay. Now hit me with taste. Taste. I absolutely love the taste. Sort of. This is where I'm giving those traditional bourbon notes. Mm -hmm. um, I think it does a very, very well job on that initial taste. I'm going to give it a 2.25. Me, I like the flavor. It's not blowing me away. Um, I think it's very solid, so I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of 3. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of funny. I like the nose of a bourbon to be very traditional, but I like the flavor of a bourbon to be much more distinct. Mm -hmm. Personal bias. <laughs> uh, next is the finish. Um, this one, as I was saying, does have a little bit of ethanol burn bit. in there. Um, I think it's your normal standard bourbon finish, mm -hmm. but I'm going to have to take just a little bit off of that ethanol burn yeah and give it a 0.75 out of two yes i gave it a one out of two the one like eric's i got taken mm -hmm. away because a little bit of the ethanol burn i do think it has a good flavor um i like the warmth of the finish in general but i do agree with eric's evaluation um price and availability, availability. um availability not every liquor store has Starlight right now. Yeah. Um, but the liquor stores that do have it, you can pretty much find they it. They have a good variety of yeah. Starlight too, is mm -hmm. what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, so I think availability, there's no, as long as you go to the right store, you're going to find it. Price, I think this one was about 45 to $50 huh. for a craft bourbon. That is a great price, in my opinion. What did you score it? I am scoring it a 2 out of 3 for pricing and availability. Mm -hmm. I think it's priced correctly, especially like Eric said for craft. And like you can find it in enough places where it's not that hard. Yep, I agree. I give it a 2 out of 3 as well. You do have to find where it's located in your state. or I don't know what they distribute it everywhere. Um, but yeah, 
you should be able to find it. Either yeah. there or online, you should be able to find it somewhere. Yeah. And something I find really funny too, we'll feature this on our Instagram, the Babes of Bourbon, but like the side of their bottles, they <laughs> always, well not always, but they put these like stickers, like this one has, is this from Animal House? It is, yeah. Yeah, the, guy, the one where they're like, they fill their mouth with mashed potatoes and they're like, I'm gonna say it, and then do that. Yeah, they're yeah. very... Um, open to the store picks to do whatever they yeah. want. Yeah, <laughs> slap a picture on this. The store yeah. pick also it has like a I don't know. She reminds me of like a French fashion spy, mm -hmm. a little European lady <laughs> over there. And like too on the bottle, it talks about how this family owned and farmed the Huber's land. That's been going on since 1843. Um, and I know they're also starting to get into brandies. And what I like what I love about craft distilleries is when they are willing to experiment with new things. Mm -hmm. And that kind of leads into our scotch finish because they have experience with other spirits. Yes. They have family history. They're not afraid to try something new or do something a little different. Um, and I feel like we've been getting into some scotch finish bourbons recently and even like dappling and scotches. Yes. Well, this is only scotch finish bourbon. I'm just going to say that I know of. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Um, Maybe I've just tried it enough times yeah. where I think it's a lot. The, I've made you try this one quite a few times. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I feel like you're this one's scotch finish yeah. and I don't ask which one it is. <laughs> Has it really been the same yeah. bottle? <laughs> I literally thought that it's so funny. This butt. <laughs> you were so funny. But yeah, um, so just quickly, I. As Megan said, we've dabbled in some scotch. I think oh. this one is finished in this, I believe it's pronounced Glen Morangi, 18 year old um, scotch. Um, so it, it really brings through those flavors of yeah. scotch, um, which we'll dive into here now shortly. Mm -hmm. This nose, this is really the only one, huh? Yes. Wow, guys, <laughs> I am blown away. Now, if you have a chance to pick up this bottle to me, this isn't even like you have to try it first. I think this is a buy mm -hmm. it if you find a bottle, personally. Mm -hmm. um, apparently it's more unique than I thought it was. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really haven't heard of any other bourbon companies do it. Um, Amon's has, uh, at least last time we were there, quite a few bottles of this. That was like one... two, one month ago, two months ago? No, it was definitely last month. Oh, okay, um, last month. Yeah, three-ish weeks ago. Really? Yeah. I feel like it was longer. I just missed it so much. <laughs> um, so on the nose, it is definitely a little bit lighter, but mm -hmm. you're getting like those vanilla notes, caramel notes, of course, still, but then mm -hmm. like that fruitiness of the scotch comes through. Fruitiness, and mm -hmm. to me, I always get a little bit, you know, when like. Compared to the first one, you get mm -hmm. a lot of oak. This one, it's not so much oak, but more like earthiness. Mm -hmm. um, and like scotch, a lot of it is with like the, the moss and stuff like that that they make it. And this isn't a peated scotch. No. If but... you've, not not peated, the ones, it, it's probably peated. The ones from, um, I think it's called Isle. Like... Yep, it, the peated scotches, yep. Okay, so the peated are the stinky ones? Yes. <laughs> yeah, those ones! <laughs> I'm telling you guys, me and the details sometimes. This is why I have him. It's not one of the stinky ones. <laughs> but it does have a very, very slight smokiness to it. It does. Um, that's probably from the scotch being in the barrel for so long. Yeah. Um, and then you're getting a little bit of that, those notes on the mm -hmm. nose. And like compared to tasting the scotch in the bottle over there too. I get a lot of tobacco mm -hmm. and leather out of this one. Mm -hmm. And I think there's just like that slight nose at the very end on this. Um, and to me, those are both very pleasant mm -hmm. noses and pleasant flavors. So. Yeah, I maybe on the very end get that leather in the nose. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I like this one. There's a lot of notes here. <laughs> um, I mean, you do get a little bit of that caramel. Again, I've said this on each bottle, probably. 
you do get, it's bourbon you get a little bit of that caramel you get a little bit of that vanilla but then it's really really unique mm. um i struggle with this one mm -hmm. i struggle with the individual flavors because there is such a strong flavor of the scotch in there and yet it really tastes like bourbon do you mm -hmm. know what i mean yep it's got like that full bodied flavor of a bourbon with the like the notes of a scotch mm -hmm. yeah if i had to guess there's fruitiness in here there's a little bit of smokiness maybe mm -hmm. a little leather it's really hard to pick out all the individual notes for especially for me because i haven't been drinking bourbon that long but there's a lot yeah. of different notes in here i get a little bit of mint at the end as well mm -hmm. like almost if you're um smoking a menthol mm -hmm. in a good way <laughs> you never smoked those did you no <laughs> never <laughs> hey mom <laughs> um and the finish um that nice flavor just keeps lasting i'm still getting a little bit of those notes since my last sip I get um, the fruitiness at the end in yep. the finish where I don't get it quite as much like you do mm -hmm. in the nose and the taste. Yep. Very good. Wow. Um, and the comparison to, I have to say, between uh, just the traditional to the scotch, blown away. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, blown away. This bottle is phenomenal. Yes. I think it is about $65, too, which... I mean, you don't get Glen Ranchy um, casks back over cheaply to this. What? <laughs> I don't know how they got them back here, to be honest. Maybe they ship their stuff yeah. over there. That'd be good. I was trying to do some research on Huber's, and there's not, like, too much information online, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Their website's not that great. You can tell it's kind of family-owned. Um, not that that's a bad thing. But it's just kind of like, eh, I wish it was a little bit more high tech. I wish they mm -hmm. had like a family history page on there and stuff, which they don't at this point. But yep. uh -huh. as, as they're getting more successful, I bet they'll have marketing. Yes. <laughs> um. So nose. Two out of two again. Different. Like obviously they're completely different, but so good. I'm giving this one mm -hmm. the full two out of two. Mm -hmm. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. As of now, I don't think there's anything quite on the market like this, um, and it yeah, smells good. delicious. Um, I taste. can't believe this is the only one finished in scotch, and you've just been giving it to me. I'm like, ah, guys, I cannot get past this point. You're like subtly trying to correct me. No. All right, taste. I gave it a 2.5 out of three. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this one. Honestly. For how unique it is, I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. um, I could give it the full 3 out of 3, but I'm going to give it 2.75 out of 3. It's like I was talking with that too. I was like, mm -hmm. I probably honestly could give it a 3 out of 3. But do I? <laughs> like, do I go that far? I don't know. Finish. finish? Um, I really enjoy the finish. Mm -hmm. Um... For me, I would say this is where it's lacking, although I don't think this is lacking at all. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say the finish is unremarkable compared to the nose and the taste. So I'm giving it a 1.25. Correct. I don't think it's as complex as the nose and the initial taste. Um, it is mm -hmm. long lasting, but it is like that fruitiness um, and a little bit of that smokiness mm -hmm. that comes through. Yeah. I am giving it as well a 1.25 mm -hmm. out of 2. Mm -hmm. And price oh, so and funny. availability. Um, Have I you mean, seen it anywhere else besides Amon's? No. So, pretty much the only place you can find this is Amon's. Um, <laughs> and once it's gone, it's probably gone. I don't know. Oh my god, that when. is devastating. <laughs> when it'll be back. Um, if ever, I'm sure eventually, if they get more barrels, they're definitely going to make another batch of this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be hard to find, but I would definitely pay the 65 to $70 on it again. I do think it's priced correctly. 
because you got, we've only seen it one place. And when we were in Kentucky, we checked out several stores that had like tons of Starlight and we mm -hmm. weren't seeing this specific one. Yep. So I am going to give it a one out of three for availability because it's gonna go away. And it's only in one store. Yep. Priced correctly though. I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of three for the exact same reasoning. What? Oh, do, that's do, kind do, of stinks. Do. Math time. Math. <laughs> it's interesting. Although I thoroughly enjoy this one much more. If I had to rank them, there's no choice. The scotch mm -hmm. finish is absolutely el numero uno. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, but this one got a 6.75 and the prior one got a 6.5 yep. because of the pricing and availability category. Okay. I am still working on my math. Um... Mm. <laughs> See, that's bad because I keep taking a sip of the scotch finish, but I know we need to try the double oaked rye. Yep. <sighs> um, okay. Cleanse the palate. I finished math. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, and the first one, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. I definitely think this one is very good. I mean, I easily could have, pro this could have been an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. It's very good. Um, yeah. I would say there are very few bottles that if someone asked me what I like, I could immediately be like, I like this. Mm -hmm. People keep asking me, oh, what's your favorite bourbon? And I'm like, have you heard of Starlight? Like, you need to try Starlight. Yep. And that bottle is definitely one of the reasons. That's one of my current answers. Yes. <laughs> All right. On to the rye. Double dope. do it. Um... Ooh. So just to make sure everybody it knows, knows, the double doke means it was put in one barrel and then put in another barrel normally toasted, um, which is going to bring in a little more sugarness and sweetness generally. Now that is a bold, a classic, a rich nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of classic rye notes on here. Oh, and but it's so yes. good. <laughs> This is one of the best ride notes that <sighs> I have I smelled. Because it takes two things that we absolutely love. We mm -hmm. love rye and we love wood for double doped. Yeah, we love when things are double doped in yeah, general. There's that's true. other ones, the toasted barrels that we enjoy. Um, we've had the Mickers, um Mickers toasted toast barrel. Toast is amazing yep, as well. Which is essentially the same thing. It gives it that, like. Mm hmm caramely like the burnt caramel mm -hmm. deliciousness like in the nose where like you can almost smell the sugar yeah <laughs> and it smells very good um like i said you do get those classic rye notes like that sort of mintiness herbal maybe a little wildflower in there I'll let you handle those notes. I'm just sitting here enjoying so I can't pull them apart. But it smells delicious. It the, does. I think that's all. This one for me, um, nose is two out of two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Did you just get like a punch of mint like I did? Mm-hmm. And then more flavors coming through. Not sure what yet. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mint. Um, like a fresh mint leaf. Mm-hmm. And then caramel is coming through. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I can't get over <laughs> that because like a lot of times there's like, oh, there's a little Christmas at the end. <laughs> this is literally like you took a mint leaf and are chewing it. Mm -hmm. It's like a mint leaf dipped in sugar. Yes. And then dipped in bourbon. This is going to sound a little weird, but it almost has like a mojito note to it. <laughs> yes. Totally. Oh, did you hear that noise that just came out of my mouth? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I was, like, when I took that last sip, I kind of shot it to the back of my mouth first and then let it roll forward. And that gave it more of the caramely flavor. Mm -hmm. 
um, tasted a little bit more of that oakiness as well. And then yeah, on the finish, I'm getting that, what you were just saying, the oakiness on the yeah. finish. This is a very peculiar and unique whiskey to me because the nose, mm -hmm. the flavor, and the finish, I would not think that I was having the same product. Yep, I absolutely love it. That is yeah. a sign, one sign of a really good rye is that you're getting a different experience from so. nose taste to finish, mm -hmm. which is um, sort of one reason why people love rye is because you can get so many different flavors off of those. Yeah. Um, There's no denying that is a well-made whiskey right yes, here. Yes, it's stellar. <laughs> and it's so interesting too because each of these are so different. Yes. Like, and they're all just about four years. Yes, I do. And then this one, I'm just reading the back guys because it has some info. <laughs> it says it's a rye blend which ages in new charred American oak barrels for four years and then this one has an additional three to eight months in another oak barrel mm -hmm. but to get that much flavor in less than five years yeah what is starlight like going to be able to do when they're aging the stuff longer yeah i know this yeah. video is going to make a huge difference yes. guys but i feel like people are going to snatch up starlight if it continues to go in the direction it's going it could be huge yeah Absolutely. It is delicious. Um, so the nose on this one, I absolutely love it. I'm giving it the full two out of two. Um, taste. Um, it's super unique. What, what are you giving the nose just to confirm? A two out of two. Okay. Taste. Uh, taste. I'm giving it a two out of three. I think it is unique. I think it is bold. I think it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 3. I love it. Um, I'm wondering what it will taste like once it opens up a little bit too, mm -hmm. which really intrigues me. I just got floral and herbal mm -hmm. at the end there. Mm. This is one to try in like yes. two weeks. You're right, babe. Um, finish. You know what? I was going to give it a one, but with that last sip, this mm -hmm. bad boy is getting bumped up to a 1.5 because I don't know how I just got that last mm -hmm. kick, but that was really cool. Um, finish for me. Again, this is a great rye whiskey. It might the finish might be where it's lacking a little bit compared, but um, I'm interested to see how it progresses. I'm going to give it, to make it easy for math, a 1 out of 3 for me. Or 1 out of 2. Guys, I think I just rated that a little too highly on the last sip. I'm bringing it down to a 1.25 to be a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I think I was just really impressed with that very last sip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Okay. Lastly, price and availability. Um, again, um, with their double oak bourbon, I've been seeing that around at a lot of different liquor stores. It's slowly coming more and more available. Mm -hmm. The double oak rye, I think this is a relatively new product for them. And I think we got sort of lucky that we found the bottle. Um, mm -hmm. So eventually it'll probably be more available, but um, right now it's a little bit harder to find. But price, I think it was 55 or $60. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you ended up buying this one, so. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, I don't remember what it was. Okay, I th we'll say 60, and it's well worth that price. <laughs> um, but it is harder to find, so I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of 3. I'm giving it the exact same score for pricing and availability. Again, priced correctly, Starlight is doing a really great job of that, especially being craft. And I think because they already have a very successful farm and wine distillery, mm -hmm. they have that ability to make it more affordable. Um, so in total, that's a 6.75 out of 10. Um, to me, these two got scored the same, which I'm actually happy they got scored the same because I think they are comparable in quality, although extremely different. Mm -hmm. And then this one coming in is 6.5 out of 10. 
got scored a bit higher on pricing and availability due to that low price. Um, it is my number three out of the three, but still very good. Yeah, if you're comparing this to like other craft bourbons at a similar, that are making their own stuff. Like compared to New Riff. Yeah, this but, is. I would say it's much better than New Riff. I would agree, yeah. Um, I would say it's comparable to like Wilderness Trail, which is yes. pretty big distillery. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty. And then I gave this one a 7 out of 10. It's unique. I really enjoy it. But I gave this one a 7.5 out of 10. I don't think there's anything quite like this one. And it's absolutely fantastic. This is our favorite. I would say this one hands down my fave number two number three mm -hmm. and you would agree yes well guys i hope you get a chance to try some starlight products if you have tried starlight or you have a bottle sitting in your cabinet or even see it on the liquor shelf buy it buy it buy it buy it try it drink it yeah. comment tell us about what you're trying and drinking yeah it might be hard to f find at some liquor stores but you can definitely find it online um a lot of clubs do store picks a lot of stores do store mm -hmm. picks um online so you can definitely um try it um highly recommended them mm -hmm. um absolutely love them yeah so thank you guys so much for watching our video today um as always like subscribe comment share and check out the pictures of the bottles on the Babes of Bourbon Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. And if you made it this far, far thank you so yeah. much. We appreciate you. You're the thank true supporter. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you all have a great night. Yeah, have a great night, everybody. Bye. Bye.